Hey guys, it's Desran303 and this is the start of a new series and this series is called Non-Lethal. So in this series I will only be using killstreak rewards that don't necessarily benefit my score too much. So my first killstreak, killstreak reward is Spy Plane. The second one then is Care Package because I figure sometimes the Care Package will drop down extra ammo for me or it could give me another Spy Plane or even a Blackbird. And my last killstreak then is Blackbird. So what these killstreaks do is they, they actually really promote um, more gun gameplay as opposed to watching kill feeds of the dogs or helicopters and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy the series. I had a lot of fun getting this gameplay. And I have to say as well, for this series I actually started up a new profile because what's happening now is my account that is full, my main account, I've got 100 allies. It's anytime I go into a game, say where I just want to play on my own, even when I close the party, people join me when I'm in game because for some reason it's kind of like your party becomes open again once you're in game. So just to rule out anyone joining my games mid game, um, I've started up a new profile and I've only got two allies on that profile then. So my allies there are Alicia32 and Krasit, just my, my main friend, like, you know, so uh, I thought that was a bit unfair actually. I was aiming at that guy's head, but uh, this is kind of Black Ops. I mean, it has been a problem since Black Ops were released on the Wii and these problems were in Modern Warfare Reflex as well. So. Fingers crossed when Modern Warfare 3 comes out that all these problems will be somewhat fixed, hit detection and whatnot. I think what, I'm, what I most uh, recognize in what's happening on these games is um, just say on your screen you knife this person. It, it's clearly evidence that you knifed him right in the face. Yes, two seconds later you actually get knifed even though he swung his knife after yours. But what's happening is on his screen it looks like he's knifing you and on your screen it looks like you're knifing him but uh, I've seen from my dual view gameplay with Mr. Dipmeister that the game keeps going out of sync so while you're playing online what is happening on your screen isn't necessarily happening for everyone else on their screen give or take two or three seconds in the difference so that is what's happening that is why a lot of people are giving out that you know the connections really bad and I'm I'm nearly full sure that this is what is happening while these moments are occurring to players so it is very frustrating I I can't help but lose the rag when this happens to me as well it's just it's just the nature of the game I I try to play without making mistakes even though I still pay the same price if I was just standing still and basically being a noob you know so I've I've been killed plenty of times where I've been completely evasive and outsmarting people and I just get killed just like I didn't do anything at all so that's that little rant over but um just uh, last week I was playing around on 50 hertz mode. Myself and Krasid and a couple other friends in the lobby were talking about uh, testing out playing in 50 hertz mode to see if the host lag is any different. And I have to say, from being the host playing on 50 hertz, for a lot of games it was actually really good. So any of you guys getting stressed out playing as the host, I, sh I recommend definitely trying that. Uh, tone your Wii down to 50 hertz, even playing with the component cables, it doesn't matter. And for some reason the host lag isn't so jittery, you can actually pull off good scores again, so that is just out there if any of you guys want to um, try that for yourselves. Just uh, go into your Wii settings, set it down to 50 hertz, and then uh, give it a go. Um, as well, I want to talk a small bit about the Enfield. I think the Enfield Assault Rifle is one of my favourite guns, uh, because I uploaded a gameplay, an online gameplay, a good while ago where I got nearly over 50 kills with the Enfield and I was using kill streak rewards but I always seem to do well with the Enfield I just like its steadiness, its rate of fire even though you're e you're you're more likely to be outgunned by the FAMAS or the AUG it's just, it's just one of my favourite assault rifles I have to say like I think I've, I've said it before that my favourite gun of all time is probably the M14 just because I love to use it, it's really good fun um, I haven't used it in a long time now but uh, if I was to recommend one gun uh, you should use if you haven't used this gun before it's definitely the Enfield it's one of my favorite assault rifles you put hardened pro on it and it's a really really strong wall banging machine as you can see from this gameplay I got a fair amount of wall bangs as well so I threw a care package there and it's got ammo in it it would have been handy now if I got that but I'm not sure did I get the chance to go out there but as you can see from the radar just now all the red dots are around the care package so um, this gameplay was fairly hectic actually, it's it's a really short gameplay, 
there's only there's only four minutes gone at the moment and you can see from the scores already we're 1000 behind that was a pretty sweet sticky there look at his body sliding along the ground that's pretty cool all right um so we points up for grabs number four and number five i still didn't give out the results for them i had a really busy week last week so later on this week I will do another commentary and I will uh, announce the winners of Wii Points giveaway number 4 and number 5 so I hope you watch that later on this week. Um, as some of you may know as well, uh, Xenoblade for the Wii is coming out on Friday. If you don't know what Xenoblade is, to be honest I'm not 100% sure what Xenoblade is myself but I do imagine that it is a game much like Monster Hunter Tri. And I must do a bit of research about it because I'm not sure if it's online or not. But it looks to be a huge quest and I'm really looking forward to playing some of that. So expect gameplay up of that on this Friday actually is when the game is coming out. So this Friday I'll be uploading gameplay and just to be nice as well I'm going to be offering a copy of Xenoblade for uh, anyone who leaves a comment or a like or a favourite on the first upload of Xenoblade that I have on Friday. So just check out the video on Friday, uh, see if you like the game, and you never know, you could get a chance to win the game for yourself. So, um, I have to say as well that the game isn't actually available in North America, so the game I will be buying is a PAL version, so it will only work in Europe, so this only applies to Europeans, unfortunately. I can't, I can't do anything else about that, guys, I'm sorry. But um, hopefully it comes out in the US eventually. I, I really hope it does because I don't think any region should be neglected of a game that is going to be as huge as this one is. So, um, the next episode guys, the next episode I want your comments on this video and I want you to suggest a gun that I should use for the next series. So, this is episode 1 and I'll be using the Enfield and next episode I want your input so please leave a comment and suggest what gun I should use for the next episode. So. This episode has ended in a defeat, which is a bit unfortunate for the series, but I think it was still a valiant effort on my half and our team. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you would like to help out the Dazran 303 channel on YouTube, all you have to do is any of the following. You can add my channel to your sub box on your YouTube account. You could remember to click the like button on a video when you watch it. You could share a video you enjoyed on your Facebook wall or your Twitter account. And you could also tell your friends, family, or even Nintendo fans about my channel on YouTube. See you soon, and I love you.